everybody welcome to another episode of here's a scenario podcast i'm one of your hosts mike feeney being joined with me as always by mike cannon and brendan shackle and this is a uh hypothetical based show where you guys help design the entire episode you send us your questions your what ifs your hypotheticals we answer them shape the show around them it's a little comedy obstacle course that you help create and uh, we're here with Nicole. Nicole, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. That's terrific. And thank you guys for those of you who came to the live show. We know we had people drive oh, from baby. Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, hell very yeah. Fun. That, was, that was awesome. It was very nice of you. And we actually have some questions left over from the live pod. So let's get into those, shall we? Nice. Yeah. This is. Did uh, you say where the questions come from? Our Patreon? Well, these ones that we're about to do. Oh, these ones actually come from the Patreon too. But the ones from the live show I thought were from the actual index cards. But uh, yeah, patreon.com slash scenario pod. Sign up for that. That's how you get to submit us questions. You can also send it on our Instagram, and if we fucking get to them, we get to them. I curse to mm-hmm. still the episode screwed. <laughs> now, let's go to this question from who else? If you had to guess, who would it be? Cerna Style. My dad. It is, in fact, Cerna Style, nice. and <laughs> your, your co-hosts die in some horrific accident. Uh, yes. While you're, <laughs> while you're FaceTiming each other. What is the weirdest dying request each one left you. Oh, as in like something to carry out? Yeah, like a, a dying request. So what would each of ours be? What, what would, let's do each other's versus our own. What, I, I, I don't think I understand. So if you were like, if you had a mortal wound and you were like, literally like the sketch we made, the last word being like, just oh, yeah, make yeah. sure before I, you do Oh, before blank. you die. Oh, Brendan. Not before would, you die, but carry this out. Brendan's after would be go through my recordings and piece together an album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it the best thing I anyone's ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have a recording on my phone that's like, if I die, release this. <laughs> really? That's how good it is. Play it right now. Well, it was... <laughs> Play it right now. No, it's just like my jokes, dude. No. I'm not gonna... Oh, you mean like a, a set? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You that's... meant like rap. Oh, no, that's... no, no. I meant like, hello, this is Brendan. If you're listening <laughs> to this, I'm dead. Yeah, if you're yeah, listening to this... I did it on one of those little microphones with a recorder. <laughs> Hello, testing. If you're I, listening I, I, to this, I have already broken in. You've you've clearly broken into someone's iPhone, said to be unhackable, and then yeah. gone through all of my recordings, found the one months and months down in the scroll that said, play this in case I die. I, maybe and so year, here we are. Maybe, <laughs> and so here we are. Please leave my broken video game controller to Jess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give all my things away to charity. So what would be Sagalo's dying request? Uh, yeah, I mean that, I just think, it, well, yeah. I think either, yeah, edit together an album or, you know, just the catering at his funeral is Burger King. Make a documentary yeah. at, about me. And, and yeah, call it walking the through the drive through <laughs> of life with yeah. Brendan, Sag- yeah. Yeah, 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 Brendan yeah. Sagalow story. You know, yeah. at this point, we have enough periphery footage that we probably haven't used of behind the scenes stuff where we could carve together some Dude, sort of I can make remembrance. A, I can yeah. make Brendan. a George Burns documentary about him just from the podcast yeah. stuff. And every time he'll like we cut to a joke that may not land or whatever. And then we'll just like slowly zoom in on his face, looking off while the, yeah. the video of you that's laughing or going like, when you said the joke on Realize Podcast and no one, everyone ignored it or wherever it was. Yeah. So yeah. It's like, and then it turns we'll play the, like we'll, negative. We'll cut, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but things weren't all. Yeah. What he th- things weren't also smiles for that circus bear. <laughs> just black and white zoom. Yeah. Uh, Nicole, okay. will you, um, will you do that? If either of us meet our untimely demise while still doing this show? Yeah. yeah we'll, I think we agreed upon that already. Oh, perfect. Oh, good. Is that you'll make a documentary about all of us? Yeah. No, just everything's one. Everything's getting released. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cannon, what would what would Cannon's be? What would his dying request? Stay away from my family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd be like, don't. They don't fuck my wife. Need you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be really. It is always kind of fun for someone to like. I think about that when they're if there's like a random soldier or something in war, and you're on this battlefield, and everyone's getting killed, and then you run up to somebody, and you go, "You're gonna be all right," and you see they're not gonna be all right, and then you're like, and you're just with them, and they go like, "Take care of my children," and you're like, ah. 
that so yeah. much. For like, yeah. like, oh, the worst would be that. Feeny doing that. Like, yeah. feed G daily. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Take him for two walks, one at noon, yeah. one at six. <laughs> <laughs> Never before eight. <laughs> uh, but it would be, yeah, that would be a nightmare to do. I feel like cannons would be like, tell everyone about Rad. <laughs> <laughs> I and Feeny uh, would be dying and he'd go, Well, I guess welcome to death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Play this Here's your gift bag. Play this <laughs> play this in reverse and then it just becomes a sketch. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, no, What's up, that's Woody. That's my last <laughs> <laughs> That's my last request. My last request is caption this for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Create a <Make> engaging this- <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> Here's the face. Yeah. Post <laughs> specifically at a certain time. Post it on <laughs> reels. <laughs> yeah. Bonus they, play, please. They Leave po- that money to my family. They post it on their wall and you, you come in with like a chains all around you and you're like, you were supposed to post it on reels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now there's no financial incentive. <laughs> you can't monetize. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. Yeah. Good job. Good, good style. Question right off you're earning bat. your head writer position. Yeah. Every day. Yeah, our own little personal oh. colleague. That's right. He's our field producer, 100%. Yeah, he's our yeah. showrunner. Colt does all the work. Cerna style just feeds us with content. <laughs> and you know what? Others, we, we yelled at our Patreon last week and we got a lot of people to start commenting and saying sorry and popping out from the shadows. Yeah. People I've never even heard of, read <laughs> yeah. the names. Like, it's the saddest people. thing we've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then people are like, sorry, man. I didn't realize. <laughs> I didn't realize you needed this. Yeah. It's like, yeah. We, it's like we lifted a rock and like 1,800 <laughs> yeah. grubs were under it. <laughs> most, sorry, I've been most enjoying the saying, show. Yeah. Most of, them, <laughs> most of them were saying, I thought my money was enough. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know I you thought need, that was the sign that I enjoyed you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Richie Chef. Oh, Chef E. Here's the scenario. Comedy and comedy podcast. Your oh, man. I like this guy. He just reached out to me, actually. He's a very nice, sweet, sweet man. Has gone super woke. Oh, he said work, I think, but I think he meant woke. Unfortunately, you've been branded toxic, and no matter what, you'll never have a career in public speaking forum like this ever again. You have 30 days to find a new career for your families. Brendan, you have 30 days uh, before your mom takes away your phone and grounds you. <laughs> what is your new career to provide for everyone? What would you aim for? Uh, would you aim for a college degree of some kind or something uh, unusual and very niche like a board game trader or basketball team merchandise trader? Do you think, uh, just to skip over the question for a second, do you think any part of you would be suited to sit in a classroom right now? Like, do you, could you do that? Could you actually sit yeah. in a classroom and take so. notes if, and learn? If, yeah, yeah. No, no. If it, was about, so. if it was the difference between me getting, like, a master's in film or something where that... Because you need to get your master's or doctorate or whatever in order to teach that. So it's like, if I had to get out, I was going to say, like, I would try to do, like, a... Like, it would be fun to do, like, a college professor thing. But in order to do that, there's so much... You have to get it full. So that would be the only reason is to do that, is to go back to do that. But I also... Uh, you know, it's I'm, just, it's, I'm a wild animal at this point. I've lived a life like I'm a feral cat. I've lived yeah. a life with too much freedom. I can't if go it was back to sitting in the, anything. No. I, I don't care if I'm even interested in it. I think I'd have to take up drinking again just to sit in a seat. Yeah. For oh. a while. <laughs> like I really would. I can't sit and listen to somebody tell me things. It would have to be something that I'm <laughs> super interested in because I, I, I wouldn't mind like taking notes and becoming the 31 year old class clown <laughs> i try to become a class clown in like a yeah a night a night class <laughs> the reason everyone's Ooh, the class right, is behind everybody. it was like what is that like in simpsons they had like the cone of bart or whatever and it was like everyone that even sits around him gets pulled down yeah, into his... here's a 3d model yeah um i think i could uh be a like high school uh guidance counselor oh yeah, I think I could talk. You to would kids. give kids. You, you'd be the scared straight guy. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You want to be like me? I did open mics for thirteen years. <laughs> now I'm back here looking at pieces of shit like you. I had a concussion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, had I had a, a concussion. concussion. Now I tell people I'm Jewish. <laughs> you want to be that? 
I have undiagnosed CTE. <laughs> you want to lie? <laughs> you want to be a big liar like me? Yeah, you want to lie about your religious beliefs so that you can get away with using a joke? Yeah. I'm also black. Yeah. You want to know? Do you want to not know what kind of car is permanently on your arm? <laughs> <laughs> you want to be not sure what year this is? This could be you. You want to get a tattoo on acid from Skankfest from another guy already on acid? You got to think, man. You got to think. <laughs> black guy also on acid? Yeah. <laughs> So I think I could be a guidance counselor. Um, I think maybe in like a uh, prison, like you, you for like uh, troubled youth. Yeah, yeah. I think I don't you know what I could that, see Brendan no. doing? Oh, because I don't like, know. actually. So you don't think you could help kids who actually need it? Well, I've, I've never been to jail. I, I want to give Brendan a compliment. <laughs> what would I say? I think this is hard. You is this hard? <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Say it. I think that you would uh, be good as like one of the fun nurses in like a retirement home. I think you'd do good with no. old people because I you hate could being do in the, a retirement home. That's yeah, but metal. but you could be the class clown of that and they would love you. And you remind me of my grandson, Marshall. Oh, nah, the nah, amount nah. of Brendan's I don't cheeks think would be redder are... than usual with the amount of pins. It's not about what you like. It's about helping where you would where you would survive. And I don't want to do it. So I would show that I don't want to do it. Yeah. And everybody would see that and they'd be like, we don't like him. Brendan would get caught fucking one of the old ladies and then he would just be Oh, you're so dry. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you're not even inside of me. What kind of small dick Come loser on, are you? Or the opposite, maybe. You can't get wood. Maybe you're around, fucking my butt wrinkle. Maybe around four year olds. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe like a a pre K. I think I would really try my darndest to be like an actual basketball coach. If like show business, whatever, any even, uh, you know, tangential, tangential or whatever a career that's kind of hovering outside of it. I don't think I would want to do anything like that because I think it would just remind me of what I actually love. And then I'd probably just sink everything into being a basketball coach and somehow make even less money. Well, than being a now player. I was going to say, now here's the like, rub. <laughs> here's the rub of this question. You only have 30 days to switch it around. Yeah. So like, I don't have time to go to school and do it. Yeah. So 30 days to make it happen. I would go, the, the most obvious thing is I would go back into doing like sales stuff because I could get a sales job and then just, I don't know what I'd be selling. Whatever's probably if 30 days. You really don't have much of a choice. It's whatever you can get a job. I'd go into weed. What am I talking about? Yeah, that is actually <laughs> exactly what I would But would it be enough to support? I would just work at a dispensary. 30 days? Selling selling weed. No, I mean, nothing is enough unless you rob somebody at gunpoint. But to get get us back on our feet, I think I could uh, I could rise up the ranks pretty quickly in terms of uh, pot dispensary work. Yeah, the you for sure would. Because I'm, I'm, I'm an intense pot person, which is why people that smoke pot don't relate to me. And, but I do think that in terms of a business sense, it would be uh, pretty easy to kind of leapfrog the lazies, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I, th I could see you as somebody who... This? I don't know. That's you leap, I wanna, leapfrogging can I the lazy. your glasses? Nope. <laughs> They're so distracting. They're like Brenz's, uh, Brendan's camera Brenz's. lenses. <laughs> Brenz's lenses. <laughs> They're Brenz's lenses. That's what I'm doing. I'm opening that's up a glass that's fog. <laughs> Dude, that was like two thumbs. <laughs> that's how I put on my glasses. You don't do that? <laughs> thumbs first. straight <laughs> finger to lens. Uh, here's the scenario. We're changing the national anthem to a mainstream song. What song do you vote for? I know I put my hand over my heart when I hear cutlery, but I might be biased. Nice. That's from Brandon. I think that... Uh, That'd be awesome. I actually... <laughs> now uh, rise for the national anthem. Cutlery. <laughs> I used to. Do I'm a fat, full, rich, <laughs> dick motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> children, <laughs> yeah. dude, do a rap over the Star Spangled Banner. Disrespect everything. Yeah, yeah. And do the Just fucking video on one knee. <laughs> <laughs> on one knee, in on top face. of the Confederate flag, <laughs> wrapped in a Confederate flag. No. <gasps> No, so it would confuse everyone. I'm kidding. I just bailed on you because I, I felt guilty about my blackface joke. <laughs> like, wait a minute. That's not I'll funny. I'll friend into that. <laughs> yeah. 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 What was that about a flag? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you opened the door. I walked in first and then you closed it on me. <laughs> and I hear. <laughs> 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 yeah. Do you like Joe Pesci? Ah. It was just one. King. What, um, what was the question again, though? The Star Spangled or uh, the National you replace Anthem. It with? I, I used to have a bit about how we should replace the uh, Auld Lang Syne with, like, because no one knows the words, replace it with, like, a... Uh, 
uh, Spice Girls with uh, what is the one that's the one they're from wannabe. fucking England. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because that song is just every time you hear it, it puts you in a good mood, and everyone knows tell all the words. Tell you what I want, but not I really, even that. Really just really like, no, tell me what you want. Oh, not even that. I got a better one. What? I got a better one. Uh, Miley Cyrus's party in the U.S. Party. No, that's States annoying, though. Dude. You are it's a little on the nose. Yeah, correct. But that is a great song. It's a I'd rather do Born in the U.S.A. I'll do with Biggie, the Biggie remix of it. Oh, yeah. Give me uh, Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA. Oh, no, fuck that. What are you, 40? Yeah. To have 50, an anthem, 50, for an anthem 50, to be like, PU. to get me excited? Yeah, I would rather pick Born in the USA. Bruce Springsteen. Walks in the back to the yeah, booty yeah. bay. Yeah. Gotta be in that FM now. <laughs> well, I'm a, that's a well documented take from this guy right here. What? <laughs> I am not a Bruce Springsteen guy. I thought you were. Billy Joel. All day, you can't day. like you both. have to pick either or. They're yep. Crips or Bloods. It truly, is. it's the white Crips or Bloods. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's the Long Island. Joel or Springsteen. It's, it's Long Island, Jersey. It's New York, New Jersey. So, Why do you put yourself in a box like that, man? You can like both of them. What do you mean? You're going. I have to like this, or I can't like this. I didn't say I had that. I said it, I, that I like Billy said. Joel, and I Bruce Springsteen. Gotta like I Billy Joel. Overrated. But I like. I, I can listen to Bruce Springsteen. I just would recommend Bruce, uh, Born to Run. And and born in the U.S. It was drilled in my head for too much that like uh, Bruce Springsteen is like a fake dude who's like oh, I'm the working man and and then takes jets. Like I heard that take yeah. too many times. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now I well, he was. He but was. you are wearing Bruce Springsteen jeans right now. Yeah. I'm Those who like he's the talking exact to. Wash he so you got a stain on your shirt and you can't <laughs> buy another one. I do like the fact that he plays like four hour concerts and basically yes. pukes blood after every his show because he has no technique with his voice. Yeah, his life is supposed <laughs> to be. His, his live show is supposed to be incredible. I would love to see him live. but In New Jersey, especially. Got a, be cool. got a oh, I would love to see him with Dino from Uncle Vinny's in the front <laughs> row yeah. somewhere in Jersey. That would be the only way I'd go see him. <laughs> <laughs> Hans von Schmiddeldorf. Oh, Schmiddenhatten. Hans. Oh, Hansens. Little feet. Oh, the Hattens. It's 1600s England, and <laughs> you three are shanghaied by the Royal Navy. What's that? Early on in the voyage, a group of stowaway pirates kill the captain and take over the vessel. Oh, you must now embrace the pirate's life or be forced to walk the plank. What are your pirate nicknames and jobs on the ship? What is your trademark move? I'm Greybeard. <laughs> I'm gray everything. <laughs> gray. <laughs> I'm gray guy. I'm gray bad knees. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you you don't even have like a uh, a peg leg. You just have a peg ankle. <laughs> Can we isolate the mu- <laughs> from stepping off a curb? <laughs> you, Can we you, have a full <laughs> leg, you have a full leg and then oh, a little the Captain Nicole. Burger boy. <laughs> Nicole, on, please jerk. isolate <laughs> the moment when Mike stopped having fun. Yeah, it was I'm, a I'm just short right turn. out with turn. bad jokes now. I'm like, yeah, yeah, Burger Boy, yeah. dog owner. <laughs> dog owner. <laughs> Fucking shirt wearer. Yeah. So jeans. <laughs> this guy's wearing jeans. So <laughs> I would. Uh, I don't know the walking the plank thing. It's got to be. Don't walk the plank. It's so <laughs> terrifying. And a ship that's traveling in the middle of the ocean, you get told to walk out. Uh, so it's like your only hope besides. It's like swimming to survive that whole time and not getting eaten by a shark. It's just Grabbing. praying that something comes by in the future that sees you and can stop and will pick you up and also is in danger. Like your chances of survival are just so little, especially are back in the 1600s. Off? Are you allowed to kick off your buckle shoes before you walk the plank? Yeah, you, you can go. You can go no. You can, I would say you would go no shoes, but you have the puffy pirate shirt and those like oh. burlap pants. At that point, you just have to walk the plank. You get to the end. You You're turn, dead. You turn burlap. around and you go. Burlap. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like Bruce Springsteen? Burlap. But burlap will fucking bring you right down to the bottom no, of the it's, ocean. It's thin. It's got those holes in it. You know it nothing about they got burlap. They like a potato sack. Yeah. That soaks up water and brings you down quick, dude. It's not yeah. going to help, but at least it's got a little baby bag. holes. It's like no. mesh. I would, it's not like mesh. And even mesh is heavy. To I would way. jump as it's heavier close than as I could. Dude, this one time in, yeah. Lake, in Maine, I went and dove into the water to like help my sister, and I was in full outfit. And then she like swam fast back like around me without me letting help her. And then I started drowning. And then my older <laughs> sister refused to jump in to help me. And my mom and her were arguing on the dock as I was gulping. Helping, like river water, <laughs> and then finally somebody jumped in and like gave me compressions. No, <laughs> Some <they> strange. <laughs> they didn't give me compressions, but you know I was definitely and fucked up. Yeah, out. you were in the shallow end of the pool. They're like, <clears throat> stand up. Yeah. <laughs> um. 
Yeah, I, I didn't know they were moving <laughs> so funny on the plank. Someone run to jump in to like save somebody and then be like, I don't know how to swim. And like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was like, I was like seven. I might have been even early, it might have been younger, but I would like saw my younger sister having like the slightest hard time and I jumped in after her to help her and she just immediately regained her, her bearings, yeah. swam around. She was like, yeah, look, she this used is what a you as a life. guy yeah. looks yeah. like. Yeah. And, then I'll, oh, oh, oh. and I see my mom literally like, Jessica, get in the water. And Jessica's like, fuck you, mom. And I'm like, oh. and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then you began the compressions. <laughs> yeah. So I would not want to walk by. the plank to, to all of that. I didn't know say. the ship was moving when you walked the plank. I thought it was. Well, they they it, parked at port and they'd walk off the plank. No, they jumped in the middle of the. Yeah, the middle of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, the middle of the ocean. You know what I'm realizing, though, oh. is no, they don't. Because, like, in cartoons, they often stop with the sails still completely out. Yeah. And that makes no sense no, now that yeah. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. So it must have been moving. It's always moving. Nicole, and are there any YouTube videos of people walking a plank, like actual pirates forcing it people? Are there any pirate influencers yeah, that we forgot about? You're focusing on the wrong element. Even whether you're stopped or, or going in the middle of the ocean, if you let them go off and you were parked... They would just, what do you do? You just watch it? They would just try and swim back on the boat. I have a question. Well, they will die. Well, but this is the question, right? Is you walk out on the plank, if you're moving, do they even need swords to like keep you out there? Because the wind is going to blow your ass exactly. right well, off because the you're plank not up high. Anyway. You're only on. No, you're up at the top you're shelf. At the top. You're, yeah. you're at E deck. No, dude, you plank, you plank from the main area. From the not cannons? From, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, not on the cannons. There's, but it's on the, the main, cannons the level. Main yeah, the main thing. level. You know nothing about planks yeah. and where they you, are on. Why boats. would you plank on the top convinced. of the every crow's Captain nest. Hook cartoon not on the is a fucking plank. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, oh, no. it's a plank on the main level. Yeah, but do you the, know how big these boats are. They're, they're still like 85 yeah. feet off You're the water. You're still he he getting wind. It'll be like it'll be like a 25 foot drop. Incorrect. And it's not going to be, you're not 11 stories high like we were on the cruise. That is what it is. It's not that yeah, high, that is dude. what it is. You're not as I high. I think it's a little movies. bit lower than that. Yeah. I think like it's a by, little bit It's not lower. 12 what, stories what, what, high. Who are you compromising with? I don't know anything about I, pirate ships. I honestly ships, appreciated so. that. Well, but, you know, I'm trying to, trying to all, the, all to be one, you know? You need the sword so they won't compromise. try and run back. You just go, eh, eh, eh. Well, at yeah. that point, it's like, just stab me then. I'm not jumping in here. I'd rather get fucking stabbed. Then well, that's the thing. Like, then you're going to get Stan and thrown overboard. Now you're bleeding in the water. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, but and sharks are going to get you. But then you welcome the bites. You're yeah, like, just you're take like, me out of my fucking me. misery. Yeah, but you're you never like know when those bites are coming, and that's what the worst part is, when you're just kind of like, you it's feel like immediate. a nibble, like a warning bite, and but, then they swim around you. But hopefully the kraken is underneath the boat anyway, and it takes you all out. <laughs> Did you see all of the shark attacks in Long Island this oh, year? Yeah. There's already been six. And uh, in the last two weeks, that's a serial shark. It's like the first great white that choked on a gold chain. Yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah. they had this. They had to shut down Long Beach, Rockaway Beach, Atlantic Beach, wow. Lido Beach, all be and Jones Beach because it was there was sharks. They were like right off the water. They have a video of it of like it chasing. It's so close. Chasing. To the shore. It's like a six foot shark. It's chasing someone. It's chasing fish. Oh, but it's like a hundred. Feet offshore. Oh my God, it's in Long Island. Now. This is like they said. It's the most shark sightings ever because, and now this heat wave, they're coming even closer. It's That's crazy. Good. That's good. So why are they coming closer? Because the heat wave. Wouldn't they go down? In no, the water? because they no, because all the fi all the fish they're they're trapping. He doesn't know nothing okay. about nothing. I don't know nothing about nothing, and neither do he you. Watch Shark Week. What? Uh, I've watched Shark Week for years. You <laughs> dumb dumb. <laughs> Alex the truck. Sharks hunt in warm water. Brendan is kidnapped yeah. and taken to Florida for a ransom. You find Brendan's family is loaded, but kind of stingy with money, and they hire the two mics cheaply to save their baby boy. You now have access to guns and equipment like Call of Duty. So what is going to be your role in saving the most kidnappable friend in the world? From where? Florida. Florida. Um, I think we would just, you know, pretty much take like a Spirit Airlines flight down there. But yeah, be cheap. I uh, you pocket the rest. Yeah, at a 9 p.m. Yeah. flight. Although you've known about the kidnapping for hours. Now, if, if you and it keeps getting delayed, but we're fine. We're staying yeah. in the lounge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now we, if we got a kid, if you he's actually kidnapped, choose the layover. Let's put him someplace <laughs> shitty, like fucking. Jacksonville or something Jacksonville, like that. I've never been there, but I think I'm going there soon. And just something like that, where it's like it's not like uh, Miami or something. And then we would have to, I mean, we got to break in. It's going to be tough. I just think anything is uh, the moment I've seen 
the plan goes out the window and I just start opening fire <laughs> yeah. on literally yeah. you're the guy from, body, you're, including Feeney's. You're the guy from fucking... I'm in the chair shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brendan's just She was the cheese. first one hey. killed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the guy from Dog Day Afternoon who, who snaps and causes the whole thing to go awry. Yeah, you're going to keep barking, little dog, or you're going to bite? So that's what I would say. Um, but I like this question because I don't have to really answer. <laughs> I get to kind of take this one I think off. we would have to go in there. <laughs> if it's you and me, Cannon, <clears throat> let's say he's in like a little like silo building. that he's a, I say one of us goes in from the roof, one goes in from the ground level, we get call, we got access to the Call of Duty stuff, so each of us get a flashbang. That's awesome. Chuck the flashbang in there, then we can follow that up more. with smoke. Well, the claymore would be, would be if we were there first, I guess. But since they're there, we have to. But we would throw smoke in there, you know, flash them with the concussion grenades. You and I run up. We have guns, but you're choosing to just go hand combat, yeah, kill fist, everyone. Yeah, fist, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's taking Hunter's longer, knife. but it's I'm feeling better. I'm wearing my better. mother's rings. Yeah, yeah. So it is. <laughs> you're doing. You're doing. A, I have to keep pulling you off, people, because yeah. you're crying, yeah, and and, and, uh, I'm, and I'm hitting them into a bloody pulp. They're yeah. long dead, but yeah. I stay on them. They've been dead for days. Yeah. And so, and then we. I have laser eyes. We get over to Brendan. No, you don't. We get over to Brendan. Brendan immediately <laughs> complains that it's that it what took it's you so hot. long and that like my wrists are killing me back here yeah. tied up. Did what you I want my do, Burger though, King? I'm but, coughing. But I want to drop the flash grenade right in Brendan's lap. Uh oh, he he, <laughs> that's the he shot. Can't take another concussion. <laughs> He comes out. He's like, "I'm Orthodox Jewish." Yeah. <laughs> it actually, hit the. It, it, I'm Hasidic. It hit the smarts into me. If you could believe that. Yeah. I needed two concussions. Like Homer with a crayon. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So I think that's how we do, and we just kind of kill everyone in our way. I got the Mac Ten. Oh, I got a Mac Eleven. One better. I got. Seven. I've got a Mac, Mac Eleven's 40. about eight thirty eight nine nines ten Mac Tens. The shit never ends. Modify mudfly. Would you rather have too much condiments on your food or none at all? I would say none at all. None at all. Too much condiments. Too much sucks, dude. Even yeah. too much wing sauce on wings sucks when it's sucks. like yeah. soaking wet and damp. You're like, that ruins what is supposed to be one of the greatest meals on the planet. Yeah, because when so you're hungry. eating it, all of that sauce and shit just immediately gets like gets all over your Even mouth. Even if you had pizza that. with too much sauce, then you're just eating Chicago style pizza, right, folks? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. If you're dude, I, I got pizza, home. I got home last night and, you know, we have those pizzas that you get at Trader Joe's, which are like a little bit bigger than personal pizzas, like four, that half of it should be okay for any normal person. And I got home, stuck it in the thing. It was like a million and six degrees. And I <laughs> ate it the, the entire thing before it cooled down. I have, Surely. Like, I have like loose oh my sheets of skin all over the top. Of my <laughs> mouth. I do that with Elio's all the time, dude. They yeah. back in your back teeth, upper, upper. Oh. Yeah. 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 The, on oh, the it's hanging. If I do this, it like patches back up yeah. and then it falls like yeah. a curtain every once in a while. And yeah, I'm like dude. All right. I, it feels like the I got a good F Mary kill. Okay. Fuck Mary kill. Mm. Elio's huh. pizza rolls. Or pizza, pizza bite, like ba bagel bites. Uh, no, not bagel bites. Pizza rolls. You know, pizza rolls. They're like, oh. they're little can like we... calzones. No. Oh, Totino's pizza rolls. Exactly. Yeah. Or, uh, oh, that is never DiGiorno's. not burned me. That, on that only burns you. That is a third degree burn yeah. waiting to happen. I, that's it's actually like, how you save me. You guys put that in the oven and then you throw them I'll, like little bop. Dude, I'll that's like, the, that's like the human, the flame from fantastic four coming in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I, I know that this is a great <laughs> question. Sago. You're right. And I think this is what I would do. I would fuck Totino's because that was one of the best. That was like my go-to drunk food. One time I went to a house party oh, with Erica in Connecticut of like our friends back home or something like that. And we were at this house party. Everyone's playing beer pong. And then one of the dudes whipped out like 75 of them and put the and made them all for the party. Um, and it's just yeah. like the best drunk food. You can, it's bite sized. So that's the, like the one nighter, like give me that, yeah. need that. Um, I'm marrying Elio's because I haven't, I haven't had Elio's since I was a child, but I used to eat it like legitimately every single day. So there's that nostalgic effort. And I'm killing DiGiorno because 
I was more of a tombstone guy. And DiGiorno was a little too spun, too thick of bread for me. I like the tombstone where it was more cheese and pepperoni and that kind of a stuff. Dude, dude. I'm not only killing Totino's, I'm skipping rocks with it across up <laughs> that shit. <laughs> oh, I'll be at the end, the other yeah. end of the river, yeah. Brendan. Yeah. 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 yeah, you're gonna Mister, try and throw Mister it. Mr. Fat Man instead of Pac Man. Brendan just taking it to the back of the esophagus. Mr. Pac Man. Is it Mr.? No, I guess There's it's Pac Man and Pac Man Pac-Man Pac-Man. and then Miss Pac Man. All right. <laughs> Mr. Fat Man. <laughs> I just added a Mr. Yeah, that's respect. a good rap name. I take it back. So, I, dude, those things somehow so have good. like different s- sectors in it or districts to where one thing can be a boil uh-huh. and the next can be a frozen tundra, yeah. the likes of which that's, humans. Yeah. That's why you got to have them shit based or high. It's not. It's, it's, like it's not. So good. The it's only so way they're good is good, if dude. you put them in for too long <laughs> and then let them cool for an hour and a half and then you eat them. No, we are doing that. <gasps> that's actually not an hour and a half, but like taking them out, letting them cool. Dude, I would Ooh. burn them a little bit to where they got a crisp. So you just, oh, <laughs> suck my dick, dude. That That's awesome. I like those pizza rolls, the little blunts. The little bread blunts. They're the same thing as taquitos. Those, those are taquitos. good, but those are the same thing. No, they're not. Taquitos. The other thing is a pouch, you retard. This is a fucking this is a roll. roll. Hey, man. I, I said that harshly. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> I wanted that to be funny and like abrupt, and you guys just were like, whoa. We're talking about pizza rolls here. That's right. That's the only time I'll use that language. When it's, when it, when it's fucking serious shit. All right, let me serious do mine. Business. Let me do mine. Do I wait. am not. Done. Retard. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Totinos, get out of here. I'm shooting you in a missile to space. Uh, Elios, I'm going to wrap that in my palm and fuck you to death. You don't have to I used physically to eat, do that. No, you do. And then no. you eat it because that's my that's my topping. Yeah. And, uh, and then, because um, Elios, we used to eat that, and I even say it differently than you guys, I've noticed. I always said Elios, and then people really, I really shamed Elios. me. Elios, Elios sounds like sucks, a rich dude. shithead yeah, saying it. Elios is what I would always say. And people like, I think like I have a, a like a, a traumatic memory of like kids in my school surrounding me and pointing I've and laughing. <laughs> he uh, said Elios, he said Elios. Yeah. What a dumbass. Yeah. Dude, I would legitimately be like, get off your fucking bike. Yeah. yeah. Get off your fucking bike. You just ghost ride Let's yours go. into the Oh my God. <laughs> Send a peg I've to a shin. Before. I've done that before. Me too. The pegs were a dirt, oh, dangerous yeah. weapon. Yeah. Yeah. You just tail whip and hit them in the ankle. So yeah, I'd wrap that around my cock and give that a spin. And then I would, uh, I mean, DiGiorno is not delivery. It's DiGiorno. Yeah. It's just as good as pretty much anything. And I, w- I could I could polish off a pie a DG any single night. Me too. You got to marry DiGiorno because DiGiorno feels like a classy bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's it's the one you bring home to your parents. Yeah, it's definitely the most. <laughs> it's definitely the classiest of the three. Yeah. yeah, that is my wife. And then I'm fucking pizza rolls for the exact reason that Feeney said because it's a one night stand kind of bullshit and I'm gonna take Elio's and I'm gonna throw it under a bridge because I always hated Elio's. I don't even know it who you like are. Shit. Elios. I've never met you I've never met a person Elio's who likes every who will eat anything and hates that. He that doesn't Elios hate it. Sucks. He's saying this for effect. Uh, Brendan no, I'm not. has I hate Elio's it. in his refrigerator. No, I don't. In his freezer I've right always now. hated Elio's and I will continue yeah, to hate Elio's. Yeah, but how Elios. do you feel about Elio's? <laughs> oh, they're all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you from Brendan Sagalo. Nice question. <laughs> you know what's all right? People who are leaving these five star reviews for us. And, and if you haven't, you better start. Get the word out, folks. Leave the five star reviews. You gotta do it. And what's I don't that? like doing it. What's that? I don't like bringing people back from the dead. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's Robin Williams and Mrs. Doubtfire. No, Robin Williams in Aladdin oh. doing the. Uh, I thought it was at his job interview not thing. Wish to bring back anyone from the dead. I don't, I don't like doing it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Sign up for the show or the Patreon, patreon.com slash scenario. Just wipe the last 10 seconds out of your brain. <laughs> Sign up. We're so, if you so can. sorry. Uh, and uh, come see us live. Uh, MikeFeenyComedy.com. At this point, I'll have already been in Side Splitters, and all of you came out. Thank you very much for doing that. Comics Mohegan Sun, August 18th to the 20th. Excited about that. Uh, I think I got something fun coming in the books in September. I'll mention next week, and uh, and also we're all going to be at uh, the Vulcan September 9th and 10th. At uh, so get tickets. So it's on sale now. The three of us are going to be doing shows and a live podcast. Yeah, it's going to be 
a real fun show us a good time Austin. Yeah. come out and show us a That's goddamn right. good time the pressure is the on show. you awesome dude. the pressure is on yeah. you yeah we just did a live podcast at the comedy cellar it was a fucking hoot and a holler everybody enjoyed themselves the staff was laughing liz was furious it was the best <laughs> and uh it's it's gonna be great because we all are great stand-ups and then we got the live pod it's such a fun time and you're getting both of them on each show so come out to that Oh, yeah. you have more? Uh, I was just going to say uh, twitch.tv slash nyfreshmaker at uh, Mike Feeney on social media and go to my YouTube channel and uh, youtube.com slash Mike Feeney Comedy. Thanks. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm getting back out on the road pretty heavy. Uh, August 12th through the 13th, Boston, Massachusetts. I'll be at Laugh Boston, four shows Friday and Saturday. August 20th, I'm in Pottstown, Pennsylvania at Soul Joel's Comedy Dome. I'm outside, babe. Let's fucking let, <laughs> fill this thing because I'm pretty sure it is an infinite amount of seats. <laughs> so that's exciting. <laughs> uh, come out to that. And then August 25th through the 27th, I'm in Batavia, Illinois at the Comedy Vault. And then uh, September 9th through 10th, just like Feeney said, Austin, Texas. Hell yeah. Uh, it looks, it's not official yet, but it looks like September 8th, I'm probably going to be in Dallas. And then on September 11th, Never uh -oh. forget, I will be in Fort Worth, uh, Texas. So I'm doing a little Tejas run, which will be super fun. I got more dates coming in. I'm jam packing this year. There's a potential really fucking big show uh, in November in New York City that uh, that I'd like everybody to come out. So keep your eyes on that at MikeCannonComedy.com. I got the special White Privilege Homeless. Thank you, everybody, for uh, passing that around and watching that and all the nice DMs, etc., Venmos, all that stuff. You guys have been unreal. And uh, we, Nicole and I, have the crowd work special on Edibles coming out August 17th on my YouTube, Mike Cannon Comedy. It's a fucking shocking barn burner. It's, it's really good. It's hilarious. It's going to be, I mean, Nicole's putting her dash of cum all over it. She's got her fucking fingerprints all over yeah. this thing. It's, uh, sorry for saying dash of cum, <laughs> but um, it's it's really fucking awesome, and I'm super pumped to see what everybody uh, what everybody thinks about it. Follow social media at I am Mike Cannon, all that stuff. Hell yeah, and also follow me, social media, Brendan Saglo. If you're listening to this, this week, I'm in Montreal, baby at the uh, Just for Laughs New Faces show, and it would be great for you guys to come Woo! out. I, I have You're a plan. To say it? Um, well, yeah, they announced it on the 24th, and if this is the 20th... Yeah, 23rd. What? <laughs> Bye. Who cares? Whatever. Is it the 20th? No. No, this That's, is the 27th. It will be the 27th. You yeah, you're good. You're good. Eat you. Freak? Um, <laughs> I really threw him. So come, come on that, out. That would have terrified me, too. If you're dude, in Montreal, if you're in Canada, come out. Fucking let's take pictures. Let's let them know I have fans, okay? And then after that, uh, if you're on the other side of the country, I'll be in Toronto, right? That's the other side of the country. Very, very close. <laughs> I will be at Toronto. I'll be at the Comedy Royal. Um, oh, you're just the staying Royal there for that? No, no. That's it's, great. Uh, August twelfth and thirteenth, I will be at. Oh, so it's a week and a half. A week and a half. I guess so. Yeah, I gotta nice. go back into Canada. Um, Dude, I'm gonna so love when one of those times you are not. I'm not let into back in, and yeah. I just I just become a, a a guy who rides a moose. You're just <laughs> Louis like, yeah, J. Right. Sagalo. <laughs> Didn't that have <laughs> soda too? Oh God. Um, the Royal Comedy Theater with uh, Katie Boyle. Come on out to that. And then Austin, Texas with these guys. And then August 6th, I'm doing a one-nighter at Zany's in Chicago. Woo, let's come go. On to that. And then uh, October 14th, we're all going to be at Skankfest. And uh, it looks it looks like we got a, a great time. Plus, twitch.tv slash sags2riches. Thank you. Nicole? Nicole C. Lines on Instagram. Yeah. I am Jello. What childhood cartoon that you grew up watching would you turn into a movie? Would it be a live action or CGI? Also, would you make it for an audience your age or something to share with your kids? If you could make what? One childhood cartoon that you grew up with a movie. Um, oh, would you make yeah. it live action, CGI? Would it be made for your age or for kids i would make an incredibly gritty version of darkwing duck where it's live action and they're humans it's not ducks or anything oh that ruins like, it no yeah what they, why does that ruin it because it's darkwing duck half the fun is that he's a duck <laughs> i mean there's jokes there for sure but oh, mean, what about how he's not a duck anymore an so you're just making gritty. a cop noir <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's kind of like what they did with Batman. And it's called Darkwing Man. You know who you are? That's you're Batman. you're the you're the you're the <laughs> Yeah, this sucks on every you're, level. You're the guy 
that when they wanted to make Batman gritty, you were like, no, it's supposed to be this silly no, thing not. that happened in the no, 60s because actually with that's Adam not West. What it was supposed to be. It's supposed Superman to be Superman being and, gritty and is a joke, kapow. but Batman being gritty completely fits the character. It does if also you know anything Darkwing about Duck. me. Darkwing Batman Duck. is actually the only uh, comic that I care for. Darkwing, <laughs> Darkwing Duck is based on Batman. Like it's supposed he's supposed to be a Batman character. So you want to make Batman, but with right. Darkwing Duck. But if Darkwing and Launchpad Duck, but, McQuack. But if Darkwing Duck is a person launch who is Launchpad, not Launchpack McQuack. I said Launchpad McQuack. I thought you said Launchpack McQuack. And then all and that little girl, and. uh so you just want these people to be people. What's going on? Yeah. That's Batman, right? No. No, it's like male but Carmen it's San Diego duck. with his outfit. It's they're all personalities and stuff. Fine, they're ducks. Whatever. Yeah, make it ducks. Sure. A gritty duck movie. Look, we're still in the first Like Fly Away Home with Anna Paquin. I haven't even written like I only have about that 30 pages. This is a first draft. This is a first draft. It we stinks. don't even know if we're getting greenlit yet. Well, but I know. It's a hard stop, and we're giving you notes before you take it up to the big boss. See, they've already done a Simpsons movie. They've already done a SpongeBob movie. They've already done South a Rugrats I, movie. They've th already done a South Park movie. Can I say why I'm so fucking, uh, like, peppering him with this? Okay. I love the idea of a Darkwing Duck movie. Yeah. I love that idea. I love Darkwing Duck. I think there's room to make it hilarious <laughs> and dark. He's just protective of it. Yeah, I'm very protective of the franchise okay. because that's my choice. I choose Darkwing Duck. Uh, <laughs> and I choose oh, yeah, to is. put it. Yeah, no, that's, that's mine. That's, that's mine. Guy. That's mine. That's, that's the guy. So mine is going to be that. <laughs> is going to be awful. a life-size man <laughs> well, That seems duck. bad. No, that's going to be sick. But he's going to have never a huge cock. Mine's going to have a cock. And uh, he's going to swim real fast are but his legs are going to move way faster and he's going to look calm from the waist up are there any are there any <laughs> dark wing duck porn parodies yes. that you could look up yes. i bet you yes, i bet this guy dark dick Have duck you? oh dark wing it's fuck peter, peter north dark dick fuck it's wood that's the one movie wood did <laughs> what about you what about um, you guys? well that's the hard part is all the i think they even made a doug movie didn't they yeah they made a Rugrats movie. They made a SpongeBob movie. Rescue they made Rangers. A, did they make a they Family just, that Guy? Was one I, want, a, I know that was one I really also wanted to make. What about how about a how about a uh, a gritty Hey Arnold? Just have a kid who is uh, whose do -do 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 -do. parents do 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 whose parents who died do -do -do -do. in a plane crash, do -do -do -do. and then he's just stuck in his tenement project with his with his grandparents and. Everyone's insane around him, and he gets bullied a bunch. And then the girl who's in love with him. And he's got a fucking him. clear fetal alcohol syndrome. Yeah. yeah, because they were drinking before the flight. Now, who yeah. would play well, Arnold? During her pregnancy. Both. Who would play Arnold? Who has the widest head in show business? Arnold. What? Arnold. Schwarzenegger? <laughs> no. That would hey. be funny if it was, hey, Arnold. He's like, Arnold! <laughs> hey, I'm about to find some heads. What? Tanya says, would Hold on. No, hey, I, I got, I got another yeah. one. What? I, got, I got another one. Um, <laughs> I want to know this. I want to know who would play uh, Pinky and the She's Brain. Not looking it up. Pinky it. and the Brain. What? Pinky and the Brain. Pinky. And oh the my God! Me. Oh my God! <laughs> what is that? The oh ball! no! <laughs> I don't like that slam <laughs> thing ball. at all. Oh my God! Why does he? Why is his hat like the a, a boob? That's the cap Aladdin. hat too. I That's hate the hat it. that people put when they're like you're capping. It's one of the worst things I've ever seen. I want to take gardening shears. To this his is neck. like this yeah. is like this is like anti-war Jewish propaganda. <laughs> I don't this know what. Terrible. It's just like a circus one. freak. Whoa, that's yeah, Arnold. That oh, that's hot. Yeah, that's hot Arnold. That's hey. move it, football head. That's oh my hey, god, Arnold. Emphasis on head. Holy shit! Did Johnny Depp too. play Hey Arnold that as a kid's boy? Gonna get it? No, it's the kid who plays Flash in the new movie should play Arnold. What? What's that dude's name? He's like running all over the world, like starting fights and shit. <laughs> What's that dude's name? Oh yeah, the. Uh, the okay, that. our dream Hey Arnold cast in real life. Here we go. Oh, who's it be? Harold. Harold. That's right. And he's. A I could play Harold. You it's are a, Harold. A, yeah. You are absolutely. Is saying, Harold. I thought it was Harold. Is saying it's oh. a they. Is that? Hang on. I don't one know. second. Is that offensive? I because I you can't say so. he's a they. That's wrong. They. But are he. A they but they are they. misgender. Misgendered they. Yeah. They. They are a them. They, them. They are a them. Say. Yeah. Okay. Now um, that kid looks pretty good. I don't know who that kid is, but that would work, I guess. He probably has the looks no like a young lady. We want a we want an all star cast. Who the fuck is this yeah, kid? Who is this douche? What a douchebag! No, we. I'm want gonna. How about Macaulay, like Macaulay Culkin? Culkin? Oh, yeah. that 
That is wow. Good. Look at us. That's a good one. Look, except he's gonna good. be like, oh, I like hanging out with the dog. Yeah. Back like, back why don't we talk about the? Yeah, uh, who's that? Jaden. Uh, that's how we do, Dad. Smith. Yeah. Let's go down next one. No, I don't no, know. No, too that pretty. Oh, are we dating too ourselves? Are we making ourselves seem old? Phoebe Hardy. Who gives a shit? But, uh, too pretty. Yeah, she's got to have like kind of a cleft palate with one strong brow. I could see this woman as yeah, as, sure. as Phoebe if she puts the glasses on. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. I could see that. Or the, the only Asian one girl from liked. Knocked so. Up. Yeah. yeah. The stoner who just. No, but she's got to be a more like studious. It. I don't think that she can do that. I mean, she's studious. She's. What? Studio. You know who played good Harold? Uh, the kid from Studio? Stranger Things who who is missing a, who has the gap in his tooth teeth. With the, with the kid the, that has rotted it? out teeth. Uh, what's his name? The kid who the fat in, kid. The fat kid from Stranger Things. He's not that fat anymore. He's yeah, but he's the fat kid. body. He's pretty fat. He's the fat kid. Scroll he's, down. He's still less than ideal. No, Jonah Hill. Uh, Jonah Hill's forty. Jonah Hill is yeah, Harold, sixteen-year-old. I mean, also, I don't Harold? know enough children actors to really put this together, but let's pretend that these people are the age-appropriate versions. Of oh, okay. still not him. I would pick Josh Gad <laughs> before I picked him. Who? Josh Gad before no. I picked him. Actually, I, 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 would, I would actually good. love to put Josh Gad Thank in you. a circus cannon and shoot him directly into a lion's mouth. Me too. <laughs> I think he sucks on every fucking. I'm level. not. A I like that man. show, comedian. I thought he was bad on it. I, I didn't like him in uh, uh, the uh, there is, Aladdin. There is no more bigger elitist. was Beauty and the Beast than Josh Gad. Cut this out because yeah. I probably want to work with him. He, one day. he listens to this. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you know, wait. You know who'd no. play a really great Harold? Really Jesse Plemons. Jesse Plemons would play a good Harold. Jesse. Yeah. Jesse. Now this guy's got to be more like country guy. I don't know if stinky he could do that. Peterson. Who are these? Stinky. That's stinky. Stinky Peterson. Now who's who's Eugene? Oh, that's pretty good. All right. Hey guys. <laughs> that was fantastic. You was love it, hey Arnold, dude. Yeah, this is weird. Rhonda. <laughs> who's Rhonda? <laughs> all the voices. Oh, Rhonda was the hot uh, one. Rhonda was hot. Yeah, that's good. That's a good casting. Man, yeah. this person's nailing it for the most part. I got a couple wrong, but yeah. is there anyone else? Oh, that's just a Didn't terrible that guy, Isn't insult. that guy a pedophile? He is a pedophile. Yeah. Drake, uh, Drake Bell. Yeah. He is? Yeah. He got fucked. He got, he got like, uh, I think arrested too. I don't remember. The, Ruth. Oh, Ruth McDougal. That's who Arnold always had a crush on. Welcome to the Arnold Ruth cast, McDougal. everybody. She also has. Move this. it, listeners. <laughs> yeah. Football listeners. <laughs> I can't believe how many characters. Has everybody running. else lost interest in this? Yeah. I want to. Brendan's been, Mike's should been on his just, phone for a long time. Let me just see watch Grandpa Phil. Hey, Arnold. She went on to Grandpa Phil. We didn't do this for my <laughs> choice. We didn't look up all the fucking Darkwing Duck that people. That sucks. Bob Pataki. Oh. oh, big Bob Pataki. That, that's, that, that's great. That's great. great. That's actually great. Holy okay. crap. All right. They the got me at the end. Wonder years? Yeah, got they got me at the end. All right. right. That's correct. Let's get the fuck out Six of here. Six more. Uh, Tanya said, would you rather see yourself in third person indefinitely or completely forget what you look like when you see a mirror you forget again after? Until you see Wait, a Wait, what's the question? Would you rather be in third person mode your whole life or POV and you can't when you can't see yourself? Even if you look at yourself in the mirror, you forget right after. I'd rather just not know what I look like. I often do. I don't really like think of my features like a lot, which actually is probably to my detriment consider considering comedy and I present myself to people all the time. But I forget like how I come off all the time. Yeah, and I'd rather just not look in a mirror. You know what I mean? I feel like looking in mirrors is bad for you. Not good for you. You're only going to see flaws. Yeah. I'm going to see everything I hate about myself. With that said, I often do. I would like like a, a month to see how I live. Like if I could, you know, if you could do the camera where it's like, you know, all of a sudden you're driving the car and you see through the windshield and then you change camera views and you yeah. see from the You'd back. Hate, I would be puking. You'd hate to. <laughs> Constantly. Let's assume you're not getting motion sickness. I I think that that's why I thought you were gonna <laughs> say at the look of yourself. No, I just I just don't want to like also Shaky you, cam. You can't yeah make me puke, but also like you can't see right in front of you. You'd have to like move like you'd have to move it around. You, yeah, you have you're every you, on have, you have 360 degree camera angle. Whatever you need is is at your at your disposal. Oh, all right, Nicole, Jesse, can you let in Karen? Jesse, the librarian. You can only wait. Which would you guys do though? We're all doing no mirror. No mirror. Do, do. Scam, scam. Jesse the librarian. You can only watch movies pre two thousand or post two thousand. Which do you choose? I mean, I mean pre. pre. I would say so pre, but that's movies. a finite, dude. No, 
post is going to be for the rest of history. Oh. And movies are, you know, getting more exciting. But I will say, all the classics, obviously, are pre-2000. Though you do get... There's a lot of classics. You get some great comedies in the early... Yeah, but you're not getting Goodfellas or... I'm going post-2000s. You're getting... You're not... I think I'm going post Yeah, just for the visual entertainment. I think I've seen Goodfellas enough where I could, like... I could go... I could film myself doing it with sock puppets. Yeah, yeah. Or make a reboot of it. (laughs) Will you? Will you? Maybe you should if I if yeah for the Patreon. <laughs> Budfly, would you rather fist fight your father? In Why his prime? are you in a- <laughs> fist fight your father in his prime or defend yourself? Ever since I was a young sock, I always knew I wanted to be a gangster. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> fist fight Hi. your father in his prime or f- square off against five raccoons? Um, I could kick my dad's ass in his prime for what do you sure. Mean? You could now you're saying or when you were younger. When he was in his prime and you were your age? Yeah, we were... Yeah, yeah, definitely. When you were a baby? I mean, he he may have had some rage issues that he could probably take out on me. I'd just be fucking doing the ape. <laughs> he was... He was not, drumming on you? I But I really feel like I could have kicked his ass. I feel like I can kick his ass anytime. Um, I have fought my dad, and he was not in his physical prime. He was probably well on his way out. Uh, but I do think that he probably would have tuned me the fuck up yeah. if, if I fought him. He grew up in Levittown with with eight siblings, constantly throwing each other through, like, plate glass doors, yeah. fist fighting in my bars. Dad two bro- two older brothers. Yeah, he was a bartender in New York in the, se- like, late 70s, early 80s during the cocaine era and had to, like, fight drunks all the time. He, he, he would have beat the shit out of me. I'll take on fucking Brendan's family members. Yeah. <laughs> Five raccoons, I feel like field. you can... You can Five always... raccoons are my family members. <laughs> you can kick the first one as... Now you get what I said. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, you should have said it um, more palatable. You know? I see. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Karen. We're almost done. Yee-haw. <laughs> and off... We go to the races, <laughs> yeah. folks. Don't worry. There's more fighting to come while you're on here. <laughs> yeah. Just based on what Brendan just said. And it will all be aimed that. at you. All right. Should we do one more? Yes. Yeah. One more. Thanks, everybody, for sending in questions. And again, patreon.com slash scenario pod. Tons of new content. At least one bonus episode per week. We just did a monthly Zoom with our top tier members. We have all of our bonus footage, exclusive episodes. We have over 200 fucking pod episodes that have never seen the light of day unless you've paid for it. So Brendan says the N word a lot. (laughs) And uh, we have a ton of vlogs, bonus features, all that stuff. So uh, sign up. Patreon. As little as five dollars a month. That ain't bad. That's right. You could ruin Brendan's life for fun. Ruin my life. Would you rather I dare you? Old rocker. Would you rather always have to perform comedy in a rocking chair or talk like Ozzy Osbourne when doing stand up? A uh, rocking chair. I love the idea of a rocking chair. Not only as you get older, it's going to age the best with your comedy, but also even when you're young, you can get like, Whoa! you know, like Maybe you can I'm make it physical. Folks. You yeah. can make it physical. There are act outs that you could do. A hundred percent. Like what? Cosmic on a thing. roller coaster. He would just sit down. Whoa. Yeah. But he was like sitting in like a baby rocking chair. I think. When I saw I that, in when, like when a I, sweatsuit with his cock heart. When I saw <laughs> that uh, at Westbury, uh, Westbury Music Fair, whatever the hell that place was. Yeah. Uh, uh, he was there was like a carpet on the ground and he had sweatpants and a sweatshirt on and was like laying on the car. He laid down for a long part of it. <laughs> he was it was like, he was doing a bit. I drank the wrong sweat, drink. But, wow. You went and saw him live? Oh yeah, I really supported the cause. Yeah, post you, post conviction. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. How was the act? It's fantastic. I mean, so everybody I am kind of interested to see what he's talking about. Ah, uh, see, I'm, right he's now. not I'm talking not. about anything because yeah. he's not on stage because nobody will let him because he raped people. Well, remember when so he, many. um, remember after his, his, his I mean, he was also going to buy NBC, so read into that. Out well, of he me. had, like, he was doing, <laughs> <laughs> he was doing shows after that and like, for a little bit. And he was probably talking about. What was well, going on? We can on. drop it in their drink and then they're sleepy. And you guys give it a pop of dope in their balloon knot. Well, you know that sound, ladies and gentlemen. Once you hear the Bill Cosby impression comes out, that means every podcast, no matter where it is, is over. So we are appreciative of you listening. Tell your friends. Give it a pop. We're so sorry. And Camille. We'll see you next see week. You next week. Bye. See you. Here's the scenario is Mike Feeney, Mike Cannon, and Brendan Sagalo. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. For more information about the show, visit Here's the Scenario.com. Here's the scenario.
scenario.